Today we're continuing with verse 25 of Sri Sri Radha Rasa Sudhnidi. The maidservant knows what Srimati doesn't know. Nagarendra, the king of womanizers, is admiring her uncovered limbs from up in a tree. Swamini is absorbed in thoughts when her maidservants calls her. Her maidservant calls her. Swamini, get up and take your bath. Srimati is startled and says, Who is it? Is it you anointing me with oil? I forgot it was you. Your touch is just like Mohan's. Blessed is this maidservant that she can touch Swamini exactly as Sham does. So here we can see how much expertise in the maidservant's feelings towards Srimati Radharani are there. They are doing their seva so much lovingly and expertly that Srimati thinks that is Shyama who is massaging her with that oil. So this is the beauty of the maidservant knowing exactly what Radhika feels like and how she wants to be treated in such a way that she's feeling completely comfortable there. And also the beauty is here, the maidservant knows what Srimati doesn't know. And here also it's like indirectly want to increase she, uh, the joy of Mohan by telling her, Swamini, it's time now for taking your bath. She knows that Mohan is up there in that tree looking at her, but Radhika doesn't know. So this is a beautiful Leela playing, beautiful, loving playground. Yes, I was wanted to say. So yeah, I was also the other day meditating about the uh, glories of the service of the maidservant because she she's just doing everything to increase Swamini's feelings for Mohan. So that is a beautiful meditation because usually in this world, I only do what increase my own feelings for the pleasure of that. But in my spiritual existence, then I, I am not focused on my own feelings. And in, the, in such a way, my 
my feelings are for the service for, for Swamini. And even though the maidservants can feel how Mohan feels when he is massaging Swamini, and they feel how, how Swamini feels, but the amazing, or let's say, the different perspective is to do it for their pleasure. And I know we have discussed it a lot of times, trying to, to get to the, to the root of that. And the root of that is their sevaras. They feel everything what the divine couple feels. But at the same time, they will use it for the service only. They will use the feeling of the touch of Mohan that they perceive to make Swamini happy. And of course, they know that she has no other uh, desire than that. Swamini wants to feel Mohan's happiness, and Mohan wants to feel also Swamini's happiness. So in that way also, that's a nice meditation about the Karma Gayatri, that they are all three connected, like 12 uh, syllables are for Radharani, 12 syllables are for Mohan, and the half syllable is for the Manjari, who always brings them together and always uh, assist them, especially Swamini. But through Swamini, of course, Mohan, because they are never separated. That is also a very beautiful meditation. And let's go deeper. Let's go deeper in the meditation of, uh, of Swamini's body. There is this expertise of the massaging the body of our Swamini. So, we are watching how is Mohan massaging her and which parts of her body he is massaging. So, let's meditate on this body on the beauty of Swamini's body. This is a unique thing, and we can go very deep. There is not only the intensity and the oil, the fragrance, and the, this Mahabhav, what is she is, how to intense her feelings. Intensified. 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 <clears throat> and uh, how will Mohan massaging her? And we take his position there. And he is watching. So there we can go very deep in the meditation about Swamini's beautiful body. And we can relish how Mohan is doing this. And when he is looking at her face, in that moment when he is massaging her, and we have the same, we can do this. And we will increase her feelings towards Mohan. And then, in, in that moment, we do this massaging. We will make both relish intense feelings. So, this is the most beautiful thing to meditate on her beautiful body and how Mohan and so much happy to see our service in doing this massage and not 
telling Swamini about his presence there. It's so beautiful to think about, to meditate the scene we are reading and dive in, deep into this massaging of Swamini's beautiful body, meditating on this, the feelings we have to do such a perfect service. And this is Rasa. Then we can join in the Rasa if we go deep, not sp only speak about, but to feel this, this moment. Mohan is on the tree and he is so much enjoying this moment. He will be there forever. He desiring so much. He will never leave this moment. And Swamini is so deep touched by our touch. So that she thinks it is really Mohan who is massaging her body. So it is Mohan's rasa, it's Swamini's rasa, and it's our rasa. We are increasing there. And this is very uh, intense. It's so deep and it's so nice to meditate on her beautiful shining body. We read before that this body is illuminating the whole scene. There is the Yamuna. There is this area we are there. There are these parrots and so on. We read. So beautiful to go in, to be online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When uh, we are uh, cultivating our Siddhaswarup, our eternal spiritual body, we have spiritual senses that we are increasingly developing. And the Manjaris are the only ones who are allowed to be within the Kunja. So when they are having their love play within the Kunja, the Manjaris maybe are hidden under the bed or somewhere. And they are so much connected with Radhika that when Shyama is massaging her in the Kunja, they get the complete feeling of Radhika and feel in the same way. And because of that, they know exactly how Shyama had to touch her and to massage her in a certain way that she got that feeling. And that is the expertise of the Manjari that in this case, this Manjari is massaging Swamini in the exactly same way, because she knows expertisely, expertisely, expertise, expertise in which way she has to massage Swamini, like Mohan does it, that she in this case, she got the same feeling. She, she was astonished even that it was that Manjari. She was asking, is that you? I thought it was Mohan massaging me. That's the beauty of the Manjari, of our Manjari Seva. Yeah. One last um such uh, such wonderful meditations, everybody. Thank you so much. But before we go on, just I wanted to um think a moment on this this the point about um Swamini not knowing. 
not knowing two things, actually. First of all, she doesn't know that that Mohan's watching the scene. And second, she doesn't know actually who's massaging her. So this is the goddess. This is our goddess who is actually not knowing something. Which is quite remarkable. I remember yesterday when when Mahatma Ji read this line, the maidservant knows what uh, Shimati doesn't know, then Gurudev was in a moment of ecstasy. And it's just a it's a reminder that knowledge and knowing, even for God, is not the highest. That in the Vraj Lila here, it's not everything to be known. Not everything is to be known. And that sometimes not knowing, ignorance, and even doubt about who's massaging and who's doing what, this is part of the process of increasing the pleasure of Radha and Mohan, increasing the attraction. So it's a kind of a reminder of what we often say, that it's not everywhere, the knowledge and the philosophy and the books that will help us to understand our lives, but rather something which is greater, which is uh, this sort of divine sensuality you have in this, this, this crazy theme. Yeah. I was um, feeling inspired to share on Swamini call or the maidservant calling Swamini to get up and take your bath and really feeling into the, the, the depth of her service as was beautifully explained earlier. Not only is she able to massage Swamini exactly as Mohan does, increasing Swamini's feelings, she also knows that Mohan is up in the tree looking at Swamini. And while Swamini is still covered partially, her limbs are exposed, her uncovered limbs, but portions of her body are still covered as she's getting this massage. And when she tells Swamini, get up and take your bath, she exposes more of Swamini for Mohan to see. And this increases Mohan's desire. But the Mandri doesn't do it to increase Mohan's desire for Mohan. She does it because she knows that that's what Swamini wants, is to increase Mohan's desire for her. Jai Ho. Hmm. And so every action that they take, every, every move, every service is set up to increase this loving exchange for our Swamini. That's it. That's the point of everything in, for the Manjari service. Wonderful. And it's also clear that only Manjaris can meditate on this. So we have to change our material identification. Otherwise, we will mix and then we will destroy this moment. We have to enter in this Manjari body with uh, service mood. There is no place for our own enjoyment like we do in the material body. There is only one goal. Oh, Ma Mahatma Ji also said that to increase the feelings of the divine couple. And um, so we really have to work on this, that we are 100% identified as a Manjari. 
give up all these material identifications. There, there is no place on in this meditation for any selfish things. So we have to completely change our inner identification for this meditation. Because we know all the details of Swamini's body. And there is only one male. Mohan. And <clears throat> Manjari is uh, really not touched in any meaning for this selfish enjoyment. Our enjoyment is really this Seva Ras. We enjoy the service itself. This is our goal. And it's amazing. <coughs> Sorry. We not enter this feelings of Mohan. Even we know exactly how to massage her. We know the feeling, but we never enter. So this is very important. Otherwise, we will destroy the beauty. So this is our what we have to do, everyone, everybody for themselves mm. to give up our identification of the material world. If we enter in this, we really have to find our place, our form, our name, our Siddha Deya. This is the beauty we get by the mercy of. Actually, it starts with Swamini in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He gave it, he started, and then that line we are. And by the mercy of Gurudev, Nityananda, we will get this Siddha Deya. And there is, I remember these two fingers when Mother Yashoda is uh, binding, try to bind Damoda. There are always two fingers left. She, she could not close this. <coughs> Remember that there is this Damoda Lila. Lila, two fingers. They make bigger string and still there are two fingers. And this is the symbol of that it's our endeavor and it's the mercy. Mm. So these things connected the string of love. And so there is some endeavor, but it's also the mercy, both things connecting us. And this is the purity. And love is the string, right? <laughs> Gurudev, you are there. Yes, he's there. Yeah. Yeah, he's is opening there. Uh -huh. <laughs> hmm? I want to uh, yeah. just add something. Um, and maybe a little bit just a practical observation. How, how, how can I translate it into my daily activities? I see it. I see it here all the time also when devotees come and you know we come to Vrindavan and we have many. You're on mute now. Uh, this? Good. Yes. yes, listen to him. 
these feelings in my daily life, in my dealings with all the people around. And I see always good if when we come to you here, you are the expert for myself. And of course, all those who are always serving in this environment to increase the feelings of each other. It's also Manjari Bao. Yeah. <coughs> how to how to increase the feelings that is the change or the 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 transmission actually from the from maybe former habits that I have also bad intentions or I speak not so nicely I think not so nicely then I, in Vrindavan especially, it's a place to always learn how to increase our feelings and how to help each other to be more positive and be more loving and to always see the, the good things and not to focus on the bad because that's like a bad habit of my mind. But here we feel always how to increase each other feelings. To, it, it is a very joyful life or, and life uh, in service. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful points, and it yes, this is actually our our daily endeavor to do like this and to see the world through the eyes of our Swamini because she is so uh, was heißt das barmherzig? Merciful. She is so merciful to all living beings and actually so that we can sit here is is 100% her mercy and so if we see the world through her eyes and to please her with our doing uh yeah we have to be aware in every moment like you said that we are always pleasing others and never make some burden to others with bad speaking and like this so that we are always meditating on her to please her and this is also sevaras so we can bring our daily doing in the service towards our Swamini. Yeah. To make her happy. And when she is happy, our Gurudev will also be happy. Because he is always engaged in Swamini's happiness. We know this. He is in the seva of Radha Mohan here. We can see every day. And this is very practical. It's not a theory. It's a, it's a thing we have to do. So not, not only think about it. And this is what Suniti said in this. To bring that what we read in our daily doing. And meditating, so we can enjoy this sevaras in every moment, isn't it? Yeah. I think for doing that, we have to become the viewer, as we discussed yesterday, that uh, it should be clear. Who is the enjoyer? Am I in the enjoyer mood? Won't I be the controller? Then I'm running after that. I cannot relish the rasa. So we are supposed to be prakriti, become female, means in being the female energy 
means that we become loving and caring to each other and try to help each other on the way in a loving way. And as Gurasundra said, for doing that, for cultivating our spiritual body, we have to come out of the identification with this material body and coming out of the mood of being an enjoyer and being engaged in sense gratification. But all the senses, the mind and the intelligence we can use in loving devotional service. We are not neglecting our body, we are appreciating it because within this body we can have realizations about our spiritual identity and engage this body and use the body as a sadak deha to perform spiritual activities who will lead us to our spiritual identity if we are consciously cultivating that if that is becoming our goal to serve Radha Mohan within the Kunja and Gurudev as he explained yesterday Guru is not the goal Guru is the navigator who navigates us towards the goal and for that we should have a really appreciation for that situation that we are in that we have got this opportunity and we should take advantage of this opportunity now because as we discussed yesterday we don't know what body we will attain in our next birth due to our activities it can be possible that we get an animal body who knows or in which universe we will be transferred to so the time is now to take advantage of this beautiful opportunity uh, yeah. She is an eternally perfect maidservant from whom the aspirants should learn their service. Srila Narottama Das Thakur sings, I will joyfully serve Radha and Mohan along with their dearest maidservants by dressing their limbs. Please keep me at your lotus feet for such services amidst your dearest maidservants. Yeah, I hope. So we are the aspirants in this case, and we should learn from this very expert Manjari how to do the Seva. Like here we have our Gurudev who is navigating us towards the goal. And in the spiritual world, within the Kunja, there is our Guru Manjari who is instructing us how to do the Seva and what to do and which way to do. So we are aspirants as we are aspirants here. We are also aspirants there. How to become an expert in doing our seva in a very loving way. This is very beautiful. Actually, when I meditate on this, 
I think that that Swamini is teaching this massage. We heard before how she is teaching what to sing in which moment, how to sing. And I think she is teaching all this what belongs to this seva. Good, what do you say to this? Yeah, wow, beautiful. In, in Villa Kuchmanjali, we read how he put the, the Manjari in a cave to teach her what to sing in a special moment, right? Rather, yes. And uh, she is also teaching how to dance. Yes. He, she is the teacher also of Mohan. And so, I get the feeling that she is also teaching how to massage nicely. Right. Who can teach this better than her? And this is also one thing, that they are so one, they know each other. They uh -huh. feel what my Somni like and Somni feel that what my Dasi like. Mm. Very, very yeah. feelings are so connected, no? Yeah. The same feeling. How you explain that she opened the breast for the baby, so she feel this oneness with the manjari. Yeah, she, this is the way. There is nothing between. Rather. <laughs> and this oneness lets her teach through her feelings. Mm. So she doesn't necessarily have to, not like in the material world where we learn from observing what someone does, but the mandri can actually learn about the service through, through the feelings with Radharani. Yeah feeling as she does. I will always stay with these maidservants as their maidservant, <laughs> serving you in different ways with fragrant sandal paste, jeweled ornaments, and silken garments. Without even a tiny drop of mercy from these eternally liberated maidservants, it is impossible to experience and perform such service. Um, oh. <laughs> Uh, underline it. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Underline it. Underline it. Yeah. What has Sundar said before? All depend upon our association. 
Mercy is always there, right, Gurudev? Mercy is there. But how is in the... There is one picture in the uh, Church of Rome. You know this Bishop Angelo, he's very famous. Mm -hmm. The God stretches his finger and the human Adam, he is not stretching. But so the mercy is always there, but our endeavor has to be to touch this. So Swamini's mercy is always there. It depends a little bit on us to catch this chance. Mm. I mean, it cannot say yes, yes, tomorrow or day after tomorrow. No, we have to catch this just now because maybe tomorrow is too late. Yeah, that's the point. And this is the meaning of greed. Yeah. So this greed we need that this is maybe a, my last moment, I can get this, I can catch this chance. This is a unique chance in this life, and I can catch it every moment. There is no need to wait for anything. We have to be ready to die with our material body and identification. We have to be ready to give up every, every single identification of whatever, position, and uh, everything. Family identification. It's not meaning that we have to give up our relationships. Relationships are very important. This is a test for relationship here in this world, how intense we can enter in a relationship, in a loving mood to our all our relatives. That means to give up the identification with family, land, country, what, whatever, that to give up and enter in the real identification, eternal, that we can do every moment in our lives. And this is the greed we need. <clears throat> the mercy is there. When we read in these books, oh, this is the mercy. We are with our Gurudev, this is the mercy. Your class. Sorry. <laughs> I make coffee for... Okay. Yeah. yeah. Very beautifully explained. Uh, the mercy is always there, but the point is uh, that we have to be available for that mercy. We have to make us available, means that we have to become uh, receptive disciple receptive for this mercy and as Gura Sundara said to do that we have to give up all the material identification and all what is related to the body like land country family we are not neglecting these things but we understand this is a temporary situation and we understand what is our eternal situation. So the mercy is always there, but first we have to surrender, surrender our ego, surrender our mind, that we become free from all that things who are blocking us, the blockages that we have created by ourselves, being so long in this 
cycle of repeated birth and death in this material world. So we can blame no one for not being available to this culture and to the mercy, but ourselves. So th th this is the work that we have to do, means being in the process and go into the flow and not to think that we can control anything. Just going to flow, practicing, and having faith in Srimati Radhika, in Gurudev, and everything will be fine. I remember the words of Prabhupada. He said he is not he not came to change the, the Christians or the Muslims into Hindus. He said he, he likes to make uh, from the Christians he liked to make better Christians. Jai. And with the Muslim, he liked to make better Muslim. And so in this case, we can understand that in our family life, he make uh, uh, this, this uh, meditation makes uh, a better husband, a better wife, a better child. So that not means that we have to change this relate relationships in this world, but it, it makes it uh, more lovingly and makes better relationships when we meditate on this. This is the beauty mm. of this. Suniti so also like to say something. Scusa, prema bala Radhe Radhe. Prema bala Radhe Radhe. Lasciate parlare Guru Deva, no? Che storia è questa? Mattino è la lezione di Guru Deva. Pomeriggio c'è lo sheriff. Sì, sì. Come si fa? Hmm? We should let more Gurudev speak. Sharing. Who said this? Satya Vrata. Satya Vrata. You have special desire. You can also share. Why don't you speak? Yes, Gurudev. Yes. Yeah. Palavra. Come, say, talk, say something. Ask question. I will say, no. Ask. He has a question. He has a question. Al mattino c'è la lezione di Guru Dev. Poi il pomeriggio ci sono, ci sono lo sharing. E lasciamogli, lasciamolo parlare. Yeah, in the morning is the lecture of Gurudev, in the afternoon is the sharing time. We should let him speak more to Gurudev. Okay, I can speak. I am. I don't know. No, he disappeared. <laughs> He did that? I have no idea. Nice. Oh, connecting to all the endowments. Perfect timing. Thank you, Gaurav Sundar say, I loved it. Prabhupada is telling, I want to make best Christian, best Muslim, more intense, more clear to understand the religion. He don't want to change. This is Krishna consciousness, that you have to be better in your condition. Right. What a beautiful thing he said. He, this, this uh, Krishna consciousness is not to change for Krishna. Krishna is happy if you become better in your circumstances. Yeah. Wow. So beautiful thing, eh? 
he's sharing. I ne- first time listen in my life. <laughs> and honestly, when I meet with Muslim or any, I like to know more deep about that subject. I was thinking maybe I'm wrong, but others they comments me why Sadhu Maharaj is not fixed in Krishna. He's talking all religion and this that. But when you say I feel that you give me mercy today, Gaurasundar, to explain this teaching of Prabhupada. Really, I am very proud of you. And this is Krishna conscious. What is Nitai? Nitai is the gurus of all gurus, is Nitai. And Nitai would like to be a guru, is not beautiful. He's natural guru. He's the guru of all. All gurus Follow Nitai. So he is the controller of Gurus, is Nitai. If Nitai want to be a, sim- a guru, it's not a very beautiful thing. All the Gurus follow Nitai. So Krishna is a supreme because the, all the, the gods and demigods, they all follow Krishna. So where is what you like, develop there and improve yourself in that full faith of Krishna. And that is Krishna means Radha is only Krishna consciousness. When you have a love, and you have a behavior, compassion, unconditional love, tolerance, kindness, service, nature, all the qualities of Radha's love, bonus, sonam bonam, then some drop come to us and we change our life. But if I can say from my side <clears throat> that uh, actually there you at this I there was a relationship to my Jesus and uh, you make a more intense this relationship and you add my Love to Jesus to add this to Swamini's love. And uh, so I can feel this, what uh, is the meaning behind what Prabhupada explained and what you explained. And uh, so we can this, see. What I see this, faith is coming very there. Faith. Faith, not every, you break here and then you will develop faith. Where is your faith? Develop that faith. That is Krishna consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. And this faith is developed, it will bring to Krishna. Mm -hmm. Is 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 it things to develop love and faith? Faith with no love, no faith. Mm. And if there is no love, you want to be a priest, you will change your concept in the Mm. divine way, and that is Krishna consciousness. Mm. Divine way of life is Krishna consciousness. It must move divine, it's not move material. Yeah. What is divine? Material is never divine. No. 
anything whom of you see, but te teaching of the Jesus is divine, so is a, is a body. Mm -hmm. Other teaching is something missing in divine, is not Vedic. Without loving, there is no Vedic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, yeah. And that loving is the source of energy. Without Radhika, any source of energy is religious, not divine. Yeah. Because of this, Prabhupada said, we serve Mohan through Radhika. And uh, Jesus is the same. He is serving his father through love. So that, he is in the same line. No, you see that. This is old, not New Testament. Why? Because new way of thinking. Hmm. Divine way of thinking. And every place of the world you can see like this. And the conflict is no conflict. Conflict is the Old Testament and New Testament. Conflict is this. One is religious, they fight. And one is spiritual, they go corner. Never a spiritual person will go in the fighting. They will say, sorry, I don't know much. I have no idea. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Wrong, they will say, you're right, you're right. Very good, very nice. <laughs> or this is the point. <laughs> because they want to escape out from this argument. Mm. Yeah. That to learn, this is also a kind of art. We can we can learn from you, Gurudev. No, I have. We have to learn, but we can. We have to. We have to. This is not our path, conflict and argument. That to learn, this is a, a big step. Our nature, my nature is to go in arguments and to discuss that to learn, not to go. This is really, makes life much more easy and much more loving. Mm. Rather. And the arguments are just are material. They come and they go. They have no meaning in the long term. Tomorrow we don't know the topic. So now tomorrow we forgot what was the argument. Let's have a new one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Material thing so intelligent to catch us that we are not free time to realize the reality. Mm. So this is craziness. No? And how we will understand and calculate something in life if we have no time for that? 
my energy is involved in the, on the calculation of A, B, C, D. Focus. Is nothing. <laughs> We are busy, but uh, foolishness, like a one druggist, he takes drugs, he don't know, but he is so foolish that he is killing himself. Mm. And what is going to take birth? Some animal. Mm. So if you want to, my, I want to change my, this body, I will change my clothes. I need better clothes than this. I will prefer not dirty clothes, smelling clothes, ugly clothes. We want to be fresh clothes. Fresh means nice. You appreciate, other appreciate. But uh, this is and this time is in our endeavor in an endeavor to change myself. And balance myself. I will lose my time. Time will not come back. Mm -hmm. Lord Krishna explained to Lord Brahma prior to the four root verses of the Bhagavad. What is the importance of grace from above? O oh, Brahma, may you realize the full <clears throat> actual truth about my forms, qualities, and activities by my grace. Without mercy, it cannot be understood. Therefore, there is a compassionate blessing here. The secrets of Raga Bhajan can only be known through grace. Yeah. Again, what? The secrets of Raga Bhajan can only be known through grace. The only cause 
of Raganuga Bhakti is the mercy of Krishna or his devotees. The Acharyas are most merciful for they left their experiences behind in their books. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, Radhe Gurudev, this is what you mentioned yesterday also. The Kripa is the books. Why? Because these are all the feelings and their <laughs> service expressed. Like now we hear about the feelings of Ananda Das Babaji Maharaj, who is sharing about the feelings of Sri Prabhupada Saraswati. Yeah. So this to be conscious, to drink with my ears and to feel in my hearts. That is the mercy flowing while we are hearing or listening. And then somebody explaining this to me, somebody sharing on this. And of course, Gurudev, you are the most uh, dripping mercy container for all of us. Shripad Saraswati's heart's prayers are kept in this hmm? Radha Rasa Sudaniti, the nectar ocean of Radha's Rasa. An aspirant is blessed if he can taste even one drop of this nectar ocean. One drop. Hmm. Uh. Each drop contains everything. Because mm. when I have a taste of one drop, like a small baby, when mother put the breast near to the baby mouth and press the nipple, and one drop milk goes to the baby's mouth, then it takes some time to understand what is this. And when she takes one drop of the milk, then she starts telling, this is my food. This is my life. And then she never leave the breast of mother. If not see the face of mother, she will cry. She is not interested with the father face. <laughs> <laughs> this is one drop. So one drop only to understand what is the taste of one drop. And when I will understand this one drop is my life. Then I will drink only that. 
So Maharaj said, only one drop. Your baby, innocent, you don't uh, experience, take one drop. You will cry for this one drop. You cannot live without this milk. You want to grow yourself. It's only the way to grow is this one drop. And in no time, you can see the baby start growing. When they born, and in one week, one month, a surprise growth because of one drop. That's it. How we can realize when we go in that position to understand, we realize. Hmm. The maid servant has completed Srimati's bath and starts to dress and ornament her. But Swamini has noticed an unnatural look in her eyes and quickly covers her limbs. Startled, she looks all around, thinking, is beautiful Sham maybe behind me somewhere? Sham is enchanted by the sweet gestures Srimati makes at that moment. And the maidservant feels blessed. When Swamini sees her maidservant looking at the top of the nearby Kadamba tree, she understands that there is a secret hidden in one of the tree's branches. And when she looks carefully, she sees a bluish effulgence emanating from it. Although Mohan tries to hide himself, Srimati catches him with her glance. At that moment, her limbs are adorned with Bhava Busana. Emotional ornament called Vilas. And many intense emotions 
become manifest in her. Shyness and opposition pull her homewards. Heedlessness urges her to perform her duty of picking flowers as if she was going to pick flowers after her bath to worship the sun. And ecstasy and lusty desires enter deeply into her body and mind, causing an indescribable condition in her. Shamsundra considers himself blessed by seeing her sweet condition at that moment. He yeah, mentioned lusty desire. What is this? This is Govardhan. Divine lusty desire. Anything you do, for divine, it is divine. Radha Krishna is divine, soul is divine. You meditate in that divin divinity, that is Govardhan. Go means senses, Bardhan means to increase lusty desire. <laughs> How I can make happy to my Krishna, what I give that he become happy. How Manjari say, how I can please my Swami, what I can serve to make happy. That is the lusty desire, divine lusty desire. How to make happy to you? How to please you? How to satisfy you? That is the beauty of realization. Bahia, Bahia is coming. Raja, Bahia is coming. Raja. This is the God. Huh? God, you know what? Oh. God. Which one? Oh. Saman Sabrak Diyo. Deja is full in Jao Beta. This means Sabluk Jang is full. One key means it's a ring like that. Do you know what I'm talking about? या एक की रखी एक की मेहान रहने दीजिए तब फिर मतलब ठीक रहेगा
I'll see you later. Okay. <coughs> Maybe there's like two more sentences. There's like two more sentences. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh, okay. If I don't develop a spiritual life, sure I will develop material life. I go right or left, there is no way out to escape it. One bring us up, one bring us down. Why? Because one starts from the mind and one because from the down lower senses, material lust start from lower senses and spiritual lust start from the high side in the meditation. This is the difference. Yogi knows better. You start from Muladhar, stay in Muladhar. And one start from the what is sa, sa, what you say? Sanasrara. Sasrata. And you stay there. Yogic way also. This is the great mercy of Mahajan. No need to do many rituals and austerity. You can start floating if you have a one drop. Right? <laughs> I can make this happen. Mm -hmm. Feels good. It feels, it feels good. But yeah, I mean, the next quote is beautiful. We can do it tomorrow. Oh. The next quote. The next one we can get. There's, there's a second part of the. Prabhupada is telling. It's in Prabhupada. Okay. <clears throat> Take this one. This One should feelingly pray and become eager to render his particular type of service to the Lord. Wow. This is the teaching of all great devotees, especially Lord Chaitanya. Yeah. In other words, one should learn how to cry for the Lord. Wow. One should learn this small technique and he should be very eager and actually cry to become engaged in some particular type of service. This is called lolyam and such tears are the price for the highest perfection. If one develops this lalyam or excessive eagerness, 
for meeting and serving the Lord in a particular way, that is the price to enter into the kingdom of God. Otherwise, there is no material calculation for the value of the ticket by which one can enter the kingdom of God. The only price for such entrance is this lolium lala samai. Lala samai. This is lolium. Lolium means greedy. Lolium. And lalsa means also only greedy. Only one desire. Lolium means desire. I don't want anything than that. What? Lolium means desire and great eagerness. Eagerness. Wow. Narayan Maharaj ki jai. Prabhupada ki jai. Jai. You see, they all Good are day, speaking to Dave. Good day. All Good day. are teaching like this. All Mahajans, they come to say Lalyam and Lal Samit. Greedy, how to be greedy for that? We are greedy for material things. Only two things are there north or south. One is material, one is spiritual. One goes from up and one goes from down. If I want to be down lower, I go from down. When I want to be develop myself, it goes from high side. From the my smarana, my thinking, my mind is staying where. What is my lalsa? What is my desire? And what is my greed? I do that. Right, Govardhan? Muy fácil. Simple. Your, this book is very wealthy. This book is, I like one English book. My God, it's a great book. <laughs>